Dr. Love Metal. You are tuned into Heavy Metal Television. And I am standing here with Dave and Jeff from Jungle Rot. And I am so excited about this. This is actually very, very cool because you guys are so known for your explosive live shows. And here you are tonight. And actually, that's what kind of got you guys noticed way back when. Is that the truth or is there something that uh, we don't know? No, I think that's the truth. Our live show is more some reason our recordings don't come out like our live. I, I like to say when we play, I like to, you know, steal souls. I win them over one by one, and that's how we gain our fans, and it multiplies, and here we are today, you know. <coughs> Metal, very brutal. And actually, this is the 20th year for the band, so happy birthday to Jungle Rot. Yay. Yay. Never thought I'd be doing this. <laughs> Jumping ahead years. now, um, you guys, tell me about the lineup that you have right now, and uh, where, where are you at right now? Well, now? lineup I have now, I got Jeff with me and Jim, he's wandering around somewhere. They, they're going on 11 years now, and then we picked up this new guy for just for the year to see if he's going to work out. His name is Remington Roberts. He's doing real good. You'll see him tonight, and uh, yeah, we're ready to go. I mean, I'm glad these guys have been by my side for the last 11 years, and like you said, the 20th anniversary means a very lot to me. Yeah, that's I, you huge. Know, it's a big thing to me, and as well as Jeff, you know, fighting the fight for as long as he has, so we're, we're really excited for next year. Uh, we are too, and throughout the years, you guys, and throughout the albums, there's been a little bit of change in style. So, uh, are there any particular albums that stand out for you? Maybe funny incidents or cool people that you work with? I'm gonna pick your brain now, so don't fight it. Well, like you said, you know, like the only change in style I, I felt like it was before I joined. I mean, the, the album uh, What Horrors Awaits is kind of like a changing point, kind of going thrashier, going back to the earlier part of the band. And, um, but, one of my favorite albums. Though. You know, and it seems that's kind of we set the stage with this final lineup. Um, we set the stage for all these back to back albums. I think are great. I, yeah, I just think over the last couple of albums, we finally found our stride and we know how to work together. Everybody's got a job and they know what their job is, and that's what makes a good album is when everybody does their part and it comes out right. You know, that's what it is. And me and Jeff work really good together. We write most of the music, and Jim writes all the lyrics, and it just works out that way. And, happy that it's happening. <laughs> well actually you can see that on stage, you can see the camaraderie and it comes right through in the music. Now you guys are keeping us all very informed in the regards of social media. I've been looking at Facebook and, and keeping up with it myself. So are there any little secrets that uh, haven't come out on Facebook that you guys can reveal before I let you guys go wreak havoc on us all? Come on, does anybody snore, sleep with a teddy, in well, a teddy? Of course. Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy's got a teddy bear blanket, so... Oh, yeah. I love it. <laughs> Hulk Hogan or something. Like what was the other say? He man. Yeah, we're pretty normal guys, man. We just try to stay healthy on the road and make it a yeah, show to yeah. show. I mean, we've been doing it for so long. It's what it takes to make it to the next show, you know. We just stick to ourselves and make it happen. <laughs> Very cool. There was a couple things I did want to mention. Uh, one thing that I really liked, especially when I was on your website, is uh, the Pronounce Dead bass demo. Oh, that yeah. is so cool that you guys do that and you just sit there and show people how your work is. And uh, I also like that you take all those other artists' merch sites and you put them on your guys' website. How many other bands do that? I, I really don't many. know. I, yeah, I don't see a lot of ours because we don't have a merch site, but we're working on that. But it's all brotherhood. You know, you yeah. want to work with one another. That's where you're going to get the farthest is by working with other bands, you know, and word of mouth is the most powerful. So and that's. You know, we grew up on working with one another, and that's we're team players, you know. Yeah. So, without any scripted question, is there anything that you want to pass on to the fans? Open question. That's not fair. Yeah, that's not fair. You pass on. I mean, you know, please buy CDs. Don't download. That's my main concern. You know, it's really hurt a hardworking band like us. But you know, just keep supporting the scene, and you know, no, never give it up. You know, we need it. <laughs> True words that we're gonna keep doing that on heavy metal television now I am off to see the phenomenon of jungle rot and I'll tell you what we are all going to be reduced to a quivering pile of meat flesh it's gonna happen soon so be brutal guys be brutal